What's going on guys? I'm about to show you the secret of cleaning sheep head. Makes it so much easier. You don't have to use a serrated blade or anything. Just a regular fillet knife. Makes it super simple. So check out this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is your sheep head. Most people use a serrated knife just to cut through the rib cage and get through these hard scales that are like bones. There's a very easier, easier way to do it. It's like a little secret. I'm gonna show you guys. All right, you need a fillet knife. Can you look right here and his dorsal fins? We have a slit that runs along his whole backbone all the way up to his head, by right here to his tail. So what we're gonna do is pull your fins up, knife, go between the fins, like so, and cut along his backbone all the way down. All the way down to his head, because you got meat all the way up here. You don't want to waste none. You lift your finger up. And you go all the way down. You take your knife and you follow the backbone all the way down. Always make sure you have a sharp fillet knife. It always makes everything so much easier. And when you get to the tail, you want to go ahead and get as close to the, the edge right here, to his back, back fin, and go ahead and puncture it through. Like so. You still want to follow that backbone all the way down. This way you don't have to cut through none of the scales and dull your knife at all. Now see this rib cage. You take your knife and you just follow the ribcage all the way up. You scrape the meat off the bones. So you get a nice fillet off. It's all about the knife work. Now I'm wearing gloves because I had a cut, cut on my hand and I don't want to get no fish slime on it. Doesn't mean I'm a sissy now. See they got a bone right here. I just take my knife. So you can get that head meat. Fire your knife all the way down. And there you go. That's a sheep head fillet with no rib bones at all. As you can see, I cut around all the edges. And there's a rib bone. There's a little bit of meat there, but it ain't nothing to worry about. And there's the ribs right here. These are the, probably the biggest problem with these sheep heads, these hard rib bones and the scales. So with this trick, I hope it helps you guys out with flame sheep head. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Wow.